Mecca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here, playing Watch Dogs 2, and in this video I'll be showing you all seven of the unique car locations. These are the secret vehicles in the game. They are unique, there's gonna be one of them in the world, and picking them up will allow you to put them in your car on demand app and then have them available to you at any time you want through a simple phone call. It includes some awesome cars like a huge hazardous transport ambulance and even a tiny little rainbow scooter, and I'll be showing you them in order based on how they'll appear in your Car On Demand app. The first one is the Danger Mobile, which is the large ambulance. You'll see that all of these cars are just a variant of a car that already exists in the game. They'll have really cool paint jobs, some special effects, and some of them even have a cool horn to them. So this is gonna be the first one I'll be showing you, and this is on the Ur Urba Buena Island, or however it's pronounced, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. This one's the big island in the middle that kind of connects to the highway, and you can just walk right up to it and pick it up. It has a really cool sound effect, but its really unique attribute is the gas that comes out behind it. Here, take a look. The next car I'll be showing you is the Reeker, which is available near Oakland in the shipping yards. There's a little bit of a gang war here at some points in the game. If you just come in, you'll notice this like large white structure and some crane operators in the back and stuff. You should be able to hack a camera on a large post in the middle and then be able to easily hack the car using vehicle directional hack and just let it come right out. At that point, you just walk up near it, get into it and start it. I don't quite like this car personally. It has a decent paint job, but it seems to be really heavy. It kind of drifts around pretty well, but other than that, I didn't find much use for it. Here's a little preview. Next up is the Ice Cube 3 of 7. This one will be found in the top left of the map or the northwest corner near Kirby Cove. This one's going to be just parked near a campsite and all you really have to do is walk right up to it and then enter it. I actually really like this car. There's nothing that crazy unique about it other than that it has a really cool paint job and it seems to go really fast and have a cool spoiler on it. I actually really like it because it seems to drift better than any other car in the game. I'll let you guys have a look at a small preview of what it drives like. What? Next up is the Mountain King, which is found near Oakland, not far from your headquarters, actually just across the street. There's a few ways to get this. I would either recommend that you get a very large truck as the one I'm using, or find the forklift nearby and then do something similar, or just use your RC jumper to get over the gate and any other car. You shouldn't have much of a problem, but if you have a really tall truck, you can literally just walk over the gate in this area. This is the super cool Jurassic Park, very obviously the Jurassic Park Jeep here. Once you get in to actually get out, you'll need to uh, really quickly hack the CTOS thing on the wall so you can open the gate to get yourself out. Again, use a really tall truck and walk over the gate or use a shorter truck and then an RC jumper to jump over the gate and hack the fence first. Whichever one, the best part about this car, absolutely, other than its amazing look, is its horn, which is the sound of a raptor. Here it is. Next up is the Danger Zone, which is kind of like half a sports car, half a normal car. It can be found near the southern tip of the map in Silicon Valley next to SVNR. You'll need to use your RC jumper to get through the gate here and then make your way into the garage. Once inside the garage, you'll need to hack the car in order to go forward and to the right, 
and then backwards to smash the wooden board that's lining the wall. Then you can move it out of the way and hack the little CTOS box in order to open up the garage for you. Once you're able to do that, snap back to your main character, go into the underground parking lot, and simply enter the other garage to find the danger zone car, which is decent, but I found that it explodes extremely quickly. As you'll see on this replay, I end up having it explode on me after one small accident. Next up, we have the Rainbow Missile, which is the little rainbow and pink colored scooter, which I actually quite like. I think it's a little bit funny. Not far from Silicon Valley on the southern east of, southern west of the map, rather, in the grassy areas where some of the rich people live. You can find it in the backyard, but in order to get it, you'll need to go around back, hack the gate so that you can open it, and then you can drive out. You'll have to watch out for a robot as well as a guard, so make sure you take those out or make sure you distract them so that you can hack without being spotted. As soon as you do hack, make your way around the back, like I said. Pick up this little rainbow scooter and open the gate and just drive on out. I actually quite like it, even though it unfortunately has no horn. Fucking believable. What do you think you're doing? Body bot sequence initiated. Robots have an inherent understanding of rhythm. Like dead Last but not least, we can find the flip wagon near the Painted Ladies, which, if you didn't know, is where the Full House house is in San Francisco. It's going to be the fourth house, if you're looking from left to right, uh, that we just passed by on the right here, this little blue one. But there is a little alleyway that goes behind it, and in that alleyway, there's a parking lot. And in that parking lot, we can find the flip wagon, which is basically a hippie wagon, Volkswagen bug type car, and it's pretty cool. It has like this shiny kind of chromish paint job on it that looks different than any other paint job in the game. And that's going to be all seven out of seven cars. I'll give you guys a little bit of a preview here. And that's it. That's all seven of the super secret cars slash unique vehicles in Watch Dogs 2. Now they'll all be added to your car on demand app so that you can drive them at any time you desire. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and please share it with a friend if you found it useful. Drop a like so I can continue making videos in the future. Special thanks goes to Drop the Artemis for supporting the show on Patreon and hopefully I see you next time. Peace.